perspective to kind of see that really super nice detailed photo that really represents the car in the way that it looks in real life. What's up, YouTube? Uh, it's currently Monday night. It is August 1st. Man, it's a brand new month. I never start my videos off at nighttime. I usually film from like 11 a.m. until, you know, 6 p.m. And then I start my editing from 6.30 p.m. until 2 a.m. Depends on what I film. But I just finished a video right now of me doing a voiceover for a photography tutorial on how to shoot a car. It's real basic, nothing too crazy. Um, wasn't my best work, it was just inventory photos, but it was just an introduction to a new series that I have going on that I want to kind of, I guess, embrace the fact that I have these cars and this, you know, the photography and the you, you know YouTube channel to really bring more than just entertainment, maybe bring some education. Hopefully it helps you guys become a better photographer or get your foot in the door with the right idea. But, um, Today was a really special day, and it's really hot in my room. So, I only have one thing here. I mean, that's, that's wide open right now. But I think that if... <laughs> I don't know if you guys can hear that. It sounds so creepy in here. But I just closed both of these. They're both in my living room. Like it feels pretty cold in this room itself, but what is it set at? It's at 68. So hopefully my room gets a little bit colder because man, it is just too hot. I want to film in here, but these AC vents are so loud. Ow. So the reason why I say today was a special day, pretty much because since I moved into my new house, I've been coming home almost every single day for my lunch break. I do get to have the freedom to come home for a bit since I only live two minutes from my work. And today I came home and I was watching TV and I had a package get slipped underneath my door. And it was from FedEx and I really wanted to film that moment, but I didn't have my camera with me. was expecting this package and it took a very long time to get only because I applied for it maybe two months ago, maybe a little bit less than that. And what I had to do is when you start your own company, you have to have everything separate from your personal. So, you know, a separate bank account, a separate email, a separate this, whatever it is. And I started a new bank account and I applied for a credit card and I got approved, thankfully. But it took a long time to get in the mail because I moved from San Diego to Orange County and it got lost in the mail, I had to cancel it. I had to get it reshipped to my new address and FedEx has to drop it off physically. You can't have it in the mail. So it was a big process. They had a problem with like the apartment number and there was just something over and over again that kept happening as far as problems. So today was that big day that the package showed up with my company credit card on it. I think the biggest thing about that moment was actually seeing my name on a credit card. Oh, really? I think the biggest achievement was seeing my name on like a credit card with my company on it and it was just really rewarding. So today was a very special day to me because I finally saw like that 90% of the company being done and being ready to launch and it's so, so exciting. I'm really, really happy, very thankful too. I'm gonna close these vents and go in my room. It sounds so creepy out here. May sound a little bit crazy, but this is like one of my favorite things about my new house. Oh, there's a bug in there. Don't make fun of me, but this is the only thing that I have right now. I don't have any kind of, oops, I don't need the sink water. See, I'm not even used to it. I have this thing and it's so dang luxurious. Having fresh water every morning, every night. Turn this off. Gotta take the garbage out tomorrow. All right, back in my room again. We're gonna see where that video is as of right now. Hopefully the video's uploaded. I haven't even named it yet. Let's see, 90%. Okay, 
91% tut. Some of you guys may have noticed that like in that last video I put up of the Porsche GT3 or some of the previous videos from like the last maybe month or so that I've gained a lot of weight and the reason behind that is I'm a stress eater. Uh, not gonna lie, you may have seen some of my videos when I was talking about my fitness stuff that I was a binge eater, uh, a stress eater, and basically just ate my brains out because I had a lot of issues in my life that I chose not to share with the world. And you know, a lot of people think that the surface is the only thing they see on the internet, which it really is. You only see the glamour. Um, you only see a brief moment of my life out of the rest of the 24 hours. And a lot of people don't know what others go through on a daily basis, but um, I've managed to turn my life around to a certain extent. I haven't really had the most amazing past in my life, but I definitely am cherishing every good moment that I do have and things are getting much better. You know, I do have a lot of support from you guys on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat. But like I said, not a lot of people see what happens behind closed doors, but that does not matter. That's not what I'm trying to cover. I'm trying to cover the positives of life. Like I said, I had some problems with my eating. I saw a really nice comment on one of my videos. Someone was like, he has his dream apartment, his dream car, his dream job, living the dream life. And I was like, yeah, that's true. I mean, I'm really happy with what I have right now and I really can't complain. But now the hardest part is, is getting my health back to where I want it to be. Um, I'm not happy with how I look and you know people can say you look great or you look okay but it's all about how comfortable we are in our own skin and what I want to do for myself is you know drop another it may sound crazy but about 40 pounds um, right now I'm not sure where I'm at I think I'm about 230 pounds and typically I sit at 190 so that's 40 pounds right there and I want to get down to that weight again. And the last part of this video before I go to bed and start the vlog in the morning. As you guys know, I started my company, Devoted Society, roughly in 2012. It did not work out well. And the problem was we had a lot, a lot of legality issues. I didn't have a lot of people help me with my taxes, with the return stuff, and it was just a big mess. I have this company relaunching in about a week and a half. Thankfully, after all this time, um, now that I have my company credit card, I'm gonna place the order tomorrow for the big order, the very big order to stock up our warehouse in Chula Vista, which I'm very excited to show more pictures and more behind the scenes. So um, if you guys could real quick, please go ahead and go to the description box below and check out devotedsociety.com. I'll put it right here too. And if you can just sign up for the email newsletter, I'll let you guys know when we're gonna go live. Whoever signs up will get first dibs on the new inventory we get as far as the new t-shirts and the new products that we do have launching, which I'm very, very excited about. Now, I appreciate you guys watching these videos. I hope that you guys um, you know, really enjoy this process of me starting a company and also working at this new dealership and doing these YouTube videos full time, my Snapchat, my Instagram. I'm on that every single day, every hour, getting content out to hopefully entertain you guys in some way that brings you happiness and joy and hopefully inspires you to some degree. So tomorrow I will place the biggest order of my life, my biggest investment so far with my company. Really pumped up, I can't wait to see how this company goes. I have a lot of plans for it. I do have two other companies that I'm slowly rebuilding again. Um, they're both in the description box below. One is my poster company where I'm gonna sell all my photography. Anything you guys see will be available for purchase to hang up on your walls in a 20 by 30 format. Really cool stuff, I can't wait for that. And Proper Gearbox, company devoted to uh, manual, so manual cars like my M3. But yeah, that's about it. I'm gonna finish this video, schedule it for tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow morning we're gonna do a weigh-in and see where we start. Um, I weighed in the other day at about 2.20, and uh, I'm up and down between water weight and what I'm eating, but the past five days, pretty clean. I think that I've been, I feel responsible with my eating. And then uh, tomorrow will be kind of like a starting grid for video documentation of where I, what I weigh and maybe what I look like. I'm not sure if I feel really comfortable doing that yet because I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm hoping that it brings you guys some kind of motivation and, like I said, inspiration to really, you know, if you have health issues or health problems, to really per help you pursue that route of becoming healthier not just looking healthier, but feeling healthier and feeling better. 11 o'clock at night, I have some emails to do, YouTube stuff to do, and then I'm gonna pass out, so I will catch you guys bright and early.
Breakfast is going to be oatmeal right here, one packet of cinnamon sugar with a little bit of extra oats from just like a container, and then one Greek yogurt, vanilla with a little bit of protein granola, so put that on top of it, and then a little bit of oats. currently 8.49 a.m. on Tuesday morning. It's already 75 degrees, which I know to a lot of you guys is whatever. Every time I post like something about how hot it is, everyone's like, oh, it's 190 where I am. Okay. Great. Woke up at 220 pounds on the dot, as you guys saw, and I just, I mean, I was right. What I said last night about how I was kind of around 220 around that area. Um, my heaviest was almost 230 and I don't want to get there because I am creeping up on that and I am freaking out. So taking the baby steps, doing the oatmeal and some higher protein meals and oh, I forgot grapes. I was going to bring them with me to work. Dang it, I have so many in my fridge. Taking the baby steps necessary for me to slowly start to lose some of that weight and got in a quick little workout in my house this morning. Headed into work right now. Let's see what the day brings. I have to get a ton of work done on the computer as soon as I get there. And then I'm hoping that sometime around lunchtime I may have something to shoot. I think I have to go shoot a Ferrari today. An older 355. Dang, what's all this? Look at all these boxes. Right outside of my work. Let's see if I can get this in second gear again. Oh, come on. We're good. How embarrassing is this? Look at my wheels. Can you see how dirty that is? I mean, I don't want to get my hand dirty, but. Fast forward a few hours from one of the last clips that I recorded, and sitting sideways all day. Because my wallet, I have so much crap in it. I, I just added like a Vons card, my new company credit card as I was talking about last night. I don't want to hit this McLaren 570S. Oh, there's a P1 behind me. Again, how the hell does this happen? Oh my God. keep happening I don't get it that's the second time that I've pulled out of work and I saw a p1 behind me oh that thing was all carbon fiber damn I got goosebumps all carbon fiber p1 what the heck it's Tuesday morning <laughs> all right fast forward to shooting some cars at Iluso or I guess walking into Iluso
Yeah, that looks cool right there. Starting to get hot outside. Okay, okay. Uh. The usual spot that I shoot at is not open and the lighting is way different because it's 11 a.m. Well, it's, it's actually almost 12. But I just reorganized the whole showroom. Looks so much better in there now, but. I'm gonna go ahead and get some quick photos of this 458. really good right here so getting some really cool photos of like the steering wheel and the seats too but this lighting is perfect these boxes behind me are all of the devoted society sweatshirts and t-shirts that I'm sending out to my ambassadors so I have to go to the UPS store today I'm hoping I can go at lunch. I've just been really lazy, unfortunately, and I really need to get it together. So I'm gonna send those out, and then, ugh, I love Subarus. Man, I miss my STI. I wanna do a video on how to heel toe and how to rev match. So when I rev match everywhere. Man, I hate this glare. I'm just rambling. I'm not even doing splicing, I'm just like talking like this. Ah, okay, 12.30, gonna go grab some food, and gonna go back to the office to edit those photos. And a car wash. Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Yeah. Man, look how nice it is outside. Dang. Hell yeah. Doing some chicken with white rice and some onions on the side. Legit. Man, these are nice. This is a long scoop shirt. And then the one I'm wearing is an extra long shirt. You can see it goes all the way down to like the lower back part. 
I don't know if you can actually see that. So tonight I have my friend Kelly coming over. Uh, we met a while ago and uh, we went out to... Where did we go? I forgot where we went. So we're gonna go to uh, K1 Speed tonight to do some go-karting, which should be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it. So I just cleaned up, shaved, whitening my teeth right now, and then I have to deposit some checks through my phone. I think that's about it. I'm just gonna wait for her to show up, hang out, maybe get some food, and then I'm gonna go kick her ass at go-karting. She has a lot of confidence. I think I'm gonna beat her. 12.30. Two on the dot. Just finished up watching some movies and hanging out. Go-karting was super fun. I think I have a clip from it that I inserted before this clip, but I'm gonna go to bed. I hope you guys enjoyed that full day of filming. I know you guys like the whole style from like the personal life into the work life, showing a little bit of everything. So please subscribe and please give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Good night.